Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we are doing a sale in Northwest 16th and Rockwell, approximately, in this really great little hidden neighborhood that I didn't even know existed. We're going to start in the front bedroom, and we've got a wonderful pair of twin-size beds that are four-poster, and I can't tell you how hard these are to find. Back when we used to have a store, these were impossible to find in a pair of these. The four posts are very, very, very desirable. Really nice. Nice mattresses and box springs also. Really cute. Be great for a guest bedroom or a little girl's bedroom. We also have this uh, little chest of drawers. Kind of around here we have two antique uh, 1930s mirrors. Uh, the larger mirror goes to a vanity in another room that I will show you. This super cool little vanity chair. It is just adorable. Probably 1910, 1920. Run right here, another little table and a lamp. Next, we're going to go into the kind of the book room. In here, we've got this computer desk. It also has the matching file drawer section. We have this really nice uh, 1930s, 1940s table on top. Uh, it's a half round Dimaloon table. We've got lots of vintage books. We had this cool little retro rocker and lots of kitschy decor. We've got this chest of drawer, which is kind of an art deco style. There's the matching dresser for it in the garage that needs a little bit of help, but if you're looking for a refinishable furniture, it would be really cool to have. We have lots of books. We haven't sorted these books out, but there's some really nice books, some leather books, some good decorator books. It's definitely going to be kind of a fun thing to look at. And then around the corner over here, we have a this is a, uh, obviously a day bed with a pull-out trundle bed and a couple of antique dolls, a really old Monopoly game, I think it's 1946 or so. Next we're going to go to the master bedroom. The master bedroom, uh, as you can see, this is the vanity that the mirror goes to that I talked to earlier. Also have the little matching stool. We've got really fun uh, chair and ottoman really kind of the kind of the retro fabric that everybody's looking for right now on top we've got some really kind of fun stuff we have a vintage plastic chest chest set probably from the 60s we've got an old tv stand kind of a nice little pair of wingback chairs these would be wonderful reupholstered uh, a lot of people are now painting these and reupholstering them some really nice uh classic vintage style um, towels and linens. Right here we have a queen size bed. It has the headboard with a poster on it. We have two different nightstands. And here we have a cedar chest. And last on the list in this room we've got a this is the um, Duncan Five style chest on chest. This matches the the uh, dresser or the vanity, I should say, and also the nightstand and the beds in the other room. It's really nice condition. We've got this really fun, almost psychedelic quilt. And then we have some fun little linens. We have some aprons hanging up and lots of hand tied, hand done, hand worked linens. And then some vintage pictures. Okay. Next on the list we have, we're going to the living area. Okay, we're going to start in the in the corner. We've got a curio cabinet. Uh, there's a pair of these. They actually match, and one's in the other room. This one has tons of collectible birds. Uh, most of them are made by Andrea by Sadak. Uh, there's a lots of different types. There's peacocks, roadrunners, pretty much almost any bird you can think of. There's a figurine for it either in this case or one of the other cases. Next corner, we've got this. It's a Duncan Feist style drum table with a Reed and Barton. It is called a Victorian pattern silver uh, tea set. It's got the creamer, sugar, teapot, and the large tray. Exceptionally, really nice quality. We have a couple different sets of silver plate flatware, plus we also have a set of sterling. We have a really classic style Ouija board. This is a real painting in a really nice gold frame. 
We have tons and tons of crystal, or I should say tons and tons of china. But a lot of it's Noritake, or it's also Old Nippon, with the Old Nippon marks. No Heaven Nippon chocolate set. Here we have an Eastlight Victorian side table. And on top there's a Reed and Barton pair of candelabras, um, Reed and Barton salt and pepper shakers, and the crystal lamp, which doesn't really show that well in the video. This is an exceptional quality crystal lamp, really great uh, cutting on it, phenomenal huge mantle luster type prisms on it. Over here, we have a drop leaf uh, dining room table, so the leaves drop down, so it'll make smaller if you need a smaller table, or you can leave it up and have a larger table. We have the six matching chairs, which kind of hard to find anymore with the original table. These are the kind of the sleigh style chairs. And on top, you know, lots of crystal, lots of china, uh, with some Wilton aluminum ware, um, Oneida uh, silver plate teapot. And over here we have the matching china cabinet, uh, also Duncan Fi style. There's two different sets of china inside. Uh, really, some really kind of nice stuff. Yeah, the huge mirror with the big gold frame. And over here, it's probably more technically called a bachelor's chest. They're obviously using it as a buffet or as a sideboard or as a dessert server, but it's probably an actual bachelor's chest. This is really sharp, really high quality furniture. Uh, a lot more crystal. Nice little Victorian style uh, balloon back chair. And this nice little French chair has the real pretty carving at the top. In the next room, we've got uh, a lot more glassware, uh, some occasional furniture, this nice little green leather sectional. We've got three guns that we're selling for the sale. We have uh, two of them are Winchester, the other is a RG, RG 38 Special Pistol. Uh, the other two are Winchesters, there's a 22 long rifle and also a 12 gauge shotgun. And next to it, we have a set of sterling. This is Gorham Old Colony, or sorry, Colonial Antique Sterling. Uh, neither of these will be on site until the days of the sale, so we did that for security reasons. We have to take them with us after the video, and then they'll come back during the, during the estate sale. Next, we've got this really adorable kind of Art Deco style smoke cabinet. It's got the magazine racks on the side and then it's actually it's a tobacco cabinet really kind of hard to find anymore on the other side a nice little 70s uh, cabinet little entry cabinet some brass candelabras uh, that are menorahs we have lots of lots of more antique books we've got this other little um, TV stand some vintage binoculars has some really kind of fun, wild out, uh, records. And nice little Art Deco flower frog. Let's see, pair of recliners. And some more vintage glassware. Next we have uh, lots of little miscellaneous uh, glassware and porcelains. We have a head vase. We've got a collector's doll. We've got, uh, let's see, some Fenton. Uh, there's a nice little Art Deco flapper. Some really kind of fun, interesting items. We have this set of four chairs. These are four, four armchairs that are ladder back. These are really nice, really sturdy. These redone could be really exceptional and really fun. Over here we've got a bamboo rod. It is made by South Bend. It's a uh, full bamboo rod with the original sleeve. We have some carnival glass. We have uh, some Fenton. Let's see, this nice little wooden rack display shelf. As you can see, it's a really, really effective for display. If you're a reseller, this would be wonderful in your store. We have a little fold down desk here. Uh, some china, some crystal. I believe this is Harmony House uh, China over here. Next, this is the second one of the curios that match the first one I showed you in the other room. So if you're looking for a pair of curios, this is a rare opportunity because normally we don't get pairs. 
We also have some fun little vintage figurines, some Natco, uh, some little Natco Christmas stuff, uh, nice little key set. We're going to look outside real quick. We never get to shoot the videos in the light, they're always dark, so we don't ever get to see the outside, but we've got this uh, stainless steel grill, we've got lots of little miscellaneous, we have some patio furniture, some patio chairs, this little inexpensive uh, patio furniture over there. Really adorable vintage ladies bicycle, um, just really kind of fun. We've got an exercise bike. This wheelbarrow, is, these are great. These are the ones with the two tires. They don't tip over on you if you use them. We've got one of those. We've got lots of little hand tools kind of on the side of the house. And this kind of uh, fun 70s uh, chase lounge. Okay. Next on the list, we've got in the kitchen, you know, some more glassware. We have a Seth Thomas Adventine clock. Uh, these are kind of interesting. It's a special finish made for Seth Thomas, made by the Polaroid Company. These clocks are kind of collectible because they're the only ones that have the adamantine finish. And next, we've got a uh, table and four chairs. Uh, really kind of nice, newer. On top, we've got three or four p different pieces of Roseville, some Weller, lots of Frankoma. Um, nice little fun collectible pottery. We've got another little collectible china set and this little flat panel TV and kind of the pantry area lots more little fun stuff there's lots of vintage kitchen wares which is always kind of makes the cell a little bit more fun you know because you see stuff you don't get to see every day anymore and in the sunroom we've got an ins I don't want to say insane amount but a ton of uh, corning ware. We also have a lot of Pyrex. Usually we don't get this much corning ware at a single cell, but there's a lot of corning ware, lots of Pyrex. Some of the vintage colored Pyrex stuff over there. We've got the burglar bars that we should be selling. We have a the TV, the little TV stand. Some more kind of fun kitchen wares. And then, this is kind of a Weird thing, we don't normally get to sell the appliances, but we have a original vintage mid-century built-in stove and also the matching range top. So if you're looking for one, if you're redoing a kitchen, you're trying to go back to the original one from a mid-century house, we have this one. It's kind of the either it's either really pale brown or almost a dark pink. Uh, don't know what the actual color is actually called on that, but it's really kind of a fun opportunity to get a matching pair. Uh, we also have this baker's rack with lots of cookbooks at the top, some hand-painted china. We have some Corel ware. Um, another set of dishes. Lots more vintage kitchen wares. And then over here we've got a washer and dryer by Speed Queen. And last in the garage We've got a, we've got the, this is the matching piece to the chest of drawers inside. It needs a little bit of work, but this would be fun to redo as a pair. There's some antique tools, kind of some just random, you know, what we call typical garage stuff. You know, bug, bug killers, bug zappers, lots of hand tools, power tools, yard tools. You know, kind of all the stuff you always see at all, the, all of our cells. You know, really good handy stuff to have. We have an antique minnow bucket. With some antique classic or vintage uh, Christmas items, the original elf on the shelf, lots of vintage ornaments. We've got this uh, sewing machine, little antique vintage sewing machine under the case. We also have a old American Empire style center table. And then over here, some more fun vintage stuff and lots of fishing stuff. There's fishing stuff a little bit everywhere. Some of it you have to dig out. And that pretty much wraps up our cell. We hope to see you at our cell this week, and stop by if you get a chance. Bye-bye.